congratulations to Diamond out of space. It's amazing to you that Hollywood Hogan would rather run from the warrior than stay in there and try to win the thing. No, I mean, I know the coward the man is. I mean, he's shooting off his mouth every week. How he wants Goldberg. How he wants the shot at Goldberg. He wants the championship belt back. He's really the champion. Then when he gets his opportunity, he runs like a thief in the night. Scared to death of the warrior, Tony. Not only physically, but mentally. The warrior has outsight the entire black and white New World Order. But now it's been signed as Lynn Benton makes his way in the ring to face a brand new star from Mexico in Atlantis. Now the stage has been set. The Hogan came out a day later on Nitro and said, Hey, I'm tired of the warrior running from me. I don't know who he's trying to fool. I want to challenge Warrior to Halloween Havoc, and the Warrior all too quick snapped that one up. The Warrior and Hogan will collide at Halloween Havoc. Well, this time the lie jumps up and hits Hogan right in the face. Running from Hogan. I mean, what? He's not fooling anybody. Halloween Havoc will only fool himself. Bam! He nailed him with a clothesline on that one, didn't he, out of the ropes? Right underneath the mask. Picked him up. And Atlantis showing plenty of ability and a great drop kick. Well, he can get off his feet in a hurry. Well, I don't know much about Atlantis. I guess it was submerged for a couple of thousand years. And yes, he was. There he is. You know a lot about Lynn Denton, though, don't you? Yeah, not a very nice guy. Tough character. And... But uh, he does leave a lot of openings. Too much fighting, not enough science. Floats around to behind, picks up with a hammerlock, elevates the man. Another drop kick by Atlantis. I wouldn't drop kick too many times in a row. Atlantis trying to snap Mary out. Lynn Denton with a knife edge backhand chop. And uh, focuses the elbow on the back of the neck. Well, Denton's not going to be out muscled by Atlantis, that's for sure. He keeps throwing him around. He stays like he's an aggressive guy. Uh, two counters, a great textbook suplex. Not only dropped him down, but jump as he was coming down to give a little bit added incentive to that a little bit added oomph always add the oomph there's another one backbreaker by Len Denton into the side of the head boy Denton showing a lot of offense here on Atlantis oh yeah he's gonna stay on him Denton's not the kind of guy that's gonna slack off slow methodical and stays on him into the back of the head again, Lynn Denton. All right. In the quarter here, what's he going to do? Another sledgehammer blow. Sends him into the other side. Lynn Denton clotheslines him in the corner. Pinned him in the corner again. Slowly chopping away. Atlantis is going to have to start using his speed. He got one right in the gut. He's up on top. Cross body. Send him down. He blocked the clothesline. One, two, three, to ten I told you earlier, too many clotheslines will get you in trouble. And it did that time block that clothesline and use it, Larry, as a backslide to get the pin. Now, when you overuse a move, guys get wide set. Clothesline, if you block it and duck under, it's good for backslides and getting men out of it. Just led to a mistake right there. And, well, that was one that shook his hand. You look at right there, ducked under the clothesline. Just Split him right off his back and called a backslide. Denton just couldn't kick out in time. Too many close lines. And with that in mind, Public Enemy coming up next, ladies and gentlemen. Also, Saturday Glacier one-on-one. -on -one, and we'll talk a lot about the reformation of the Four Horsemen and the return of Rick Flair.